everyone this is Kalpana here so in this video we are going to discuss a problem from binomial distribution so let's get started problem a family has four children assuming the probability of a male birth is 1 by 2 find probability that there will be first one at least one boy second one at least one boy and one girl okay I'll repeat the question a family has four children assuming the probability of a male birth is 1 by 2 find the probability that there will be at least one boy second one at least one boy and one girl okay so here Given that a family has four children. Solution. Given a family has four children. So we are having n equals to four. That is n equals to four. Assuming the probability of a male birth is 1 by 2. The probability of a male birth is 1 by 2. So, let x and y be number of boys and girls in the family okay since we are given the probability of male birth is 1 by 2 so you can take the probability of success as male birth okay let no from this c so can include here you can add this point beside the statement the probability of a male birth is 1 by 2 that is p equals to 1 by 2 since you are having p equals to 1 by 2 we know that the sum of probability equals to 1, if p equals to 1 by 2, then you'll get q equals to 1 minus 1 by 2, which is again 2 minus 1 by 2, which is equals to 1 by 2, right? Okay, so you have to include it here. Fine. So you're having p equals to 1 by 2 and Q equals to 1 by 2. Okay. Here we are asked to find the probability that there will be at least one boy. At least one boy means one boy or greater than one. At least one is nothing but equals to one or greater than 1 that means greater than or equals to 1 likewise here in the second one there has to find at least one boy probability of at least one boy and one girl at least means greater than or equals to at least one boy so we are given number of boys x we have named x for number of boys and y for number of girls so you have to find at least one boy intersection at least one girl that is girl greater than or equals to one at least one or greater than one so you have to find probability of okay probability of at least one boy and one girl 
this is for second one and for first one at least greater than or equals to one greater than or equals to at least greater than or equals to one boy for x that is probability of x greater than or equals to one okay So we are having P and Q equals to 1 by 2 and N equals to 4. Okay. We are having N equals to 4. P equals to 1 by 2. And Q equals to 1 by 2. Now we are going to find the first one. We have to find probability of at least one boy equals to probability of boy at least equals to one or at least one or greater than one. That is probability of greater than or equals to one boy. Okay. So this equals to one minus. So for x greater than or equals to 1, see you are having n equals to 4. So you could write it as, if we consider a line, suppose 1 exists here. Probability of x greater than or equals to 1. We know that sum of probability equals to 1. Sum of the probability equals to 1 for to find p greater than or equals to 1, it is enough to find 1 minus probability of x less than 1. Okay. 1 minus the total probability is 1 minus probability of x less than 1. Okay. To find probability of x greater than or equals to 1, it is enough to find 1 minus, instead of finding probability of x greater than or equals to 1, we can find 1 minus probability of x less than 1. Okay. So this equals to 1 minus probability of x less than 1 is equals to probability of x equals to 0. Okay. Since we know that probability mass function of binomial distribution equals to ncx p power x and q power n minus x. So now we are going to apply this formula for x equals to 0. That is small x equals to 0 and for n equals to 4. p equals to 1 by 2 and q equals to 1 by 2. So this equals to n c x. That is 4 c 0 into p power x. p power 0 not plus into q power 4 minus 0. Okay. See, you can write ncx as n factorial by x factorial into n minus x factorial. So, this becomes 1 minus 4 factorial by 0 factorial into 4 minus 0 factorial. You are having 1 by 2 power 0 is 0. 1 by 2 power 4. Sorry. 1 by 2 power 0 is 1. 1 by 2 power 4 minus 0 is 1 by 2 power 4. Okay. Equals to 1 minus 4 factorial by. Again, we know that 0 factorial equals to 1. And 1 into 4 minus 0 is 4. 4 factorial. 1 by 2 whole power 4 can be written as 1 by 2 power 4. So this equals to 1 minus 4 factorial gets cancelled. Get 1 by 2 power 4 equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. So this equals to. 16 
minus 1 by 16, which is equal to 15 by 16. Okay. So, therefore, probability of at least one boy, at least probability of there will be at least one boy is equal to probability of x greater than or equals to 1 equals to 15 by 16. Okay. Next. Coming to the second one. Probability of at least one boy and one girl equals to probability of boy greater than equals to one that is at least one boy and and means intersection one girl at least one girl girl greater than equals to one okay so you would write it as one minus probability of x less than 1 union y less than 1. That is 1 minus probability of here you are having x greater than equals to 1 instead of finding probability of x greater than 1 we can write 1 minus probability of x less than 1 since you are having intersection it changes to union that is or and becomes or y less than 1. Okay. So, this equals to 1 minus probability of x equals to not 1, 0. You are having union that means plus. You could write it as probability of x equals to 0 plus probability of y equals to 0. For y less than 1, you will get y equals to 0. For x less than 1, you will get x equals to 0. Okay. Or becomes plus. Since we know that probability mass function of a binomial distribution, probability of x equals to x is equal to n c x into p power x into q power n minus x. And also we know that n c x equals to n factorial by x factorial into n minus x factorial. Okay. So you could write it as. Equals to 1 minus probability of x probability of x equals to 0 is equals to 4c0 p power 0 q power n minus 0 that is 4 minus 0 plus probability of y equals to 0 for y equals to 0 again you'll get 4c0 1 by 2 power 0 into 1 by 2 power 4 minus 0. Okay. Four C zero is equal to four factorial by zero factorial into four minus zero factorial. So this equals to four factorial by zero factorial is one into four minus zero is four. Factorial. So, this is equals to 4 factorial by 4 factorial which is equals to 1. Okay. So, 4C0 is equals to 1. So, this is equals to 1 minus 4C0 is 1 into 1 by 2 power 0 is 1. Again, you are having 1 by 2 power 4 minus 0 is 4. Plus 4C0 is 1, 1 by 2 power 0 is 1 and 1 by 2 power 4 minus 0 is 1 by 2 power 4. Since 
फोर सी जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन ओके सो दे इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस ऑफ वन इंटू वन इज वन वन इंटू वन बाय टू पावर फोर इज वन बाय टू पावर फोर प्लस वन बाय टू पावर फोर सिंस टू पावर फोर इज सिक्सटीन टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू 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 जो फोर फोर टू जो एट एट टू जो सिक्सटीन ओके इज इक्वल्स टू वन माइनस वन बाय सिक्सटीन प्लस वन बाय सिक्सटीन So this equals to one minus take the LCM sixteen one plus one two. So this equals to two one by sixteen. Okay, you'll get sixteen minus two by sixteen. Sixteen minus two is fourteen. You'll get fourteen by sixteen. Two sevens are fourteen. Two eights are sixteen. So this equals to ten by eight. So therefore, probability at least one boy and one girl. Probability of at least one boy and one girl equals to probability of x greater than equals to one intersection y greater than equals to one equals to seven by eight. Probability or or probability that There will be at least one boy and one girl is seven by eight. So this completes the problem. Okay. So we have seen a problem from binomial distribution in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.